All right, guys, Nick Drosos. I'm here with pro UAE MMA champion Xavier. Uh, and most of you probably saw the fight this weekend with Conor McGregor and Justin Poirier. And he was throwing those, those low line kicks to the calves. So I asked Xavier to, to do a breakdown and teach us how to use that kick in MMA and as well do a breakdown on how to use it in the street and if it could be used. So yeah. tell me a little bit about that kick. All right, so the calf kick itself. Uh, we're targeting the lower part right below the knee, all right? Ideally, we want to avoid the chin, the shin, right? Because you check a kick with your shin. When Nick checks my kick, he turns his shin towards mine, all right? So you want to attack the outside of the calf here, and you can also attack the inside. Um, why has the calf kick not been used a lot? There's many reasons why, but there's also a few reasons why it's being used lately by a lot of fighters. It hurts, number one, okay. all right? One good calf kick can shut your, nerve, your, your nervous system to your foot, meaning that your foot can go limp, and then you can barely stand, you can barely stand up. I've had a friend of mine lose a fight that he was winning. He was killing the guy, the guy gave him a calf kick, a low kick, and it, it just shut down his foot and the ref stopped the fight. I mean, was it a right call? Probably not, because he was walking 30 seconds after, but, but if, I, I, I'm assuming you need good balance and yes. strength to be able to launch punches. So once you yes. take out a leg, you're you in the street. The rest of the mobility, I'm assuming, right? Yes, and if you're in the street, yeah. There we go. Bye, bye bye. So you want to target either the outside or the inside. All right. From the outside, you want to hit with your rear leg. So you will always want to set it up with your hands. Because if I just throw a blind kick, mean, meaning without a setup, yeah. he can see it and block it. I want to hide it. Throw a cross, a hook and then go low, all right? Often, you'll see guys throw the kick going upwards up on the calf, here, all right? You can also go downwards, but those upward ones, here like this, are the ones where you're gonna actually damage the knee, all right? So when you're here and you wanna hurt somebody's knee, you just throw your kick. Do you need to step off to the side? Uh, of course, you can generate more power, stepping off to the side here, you know what I mean? And also, you don't need much power for the calf. I mean, you step off to the side, you're... How would you, how would you nail it on the inside? I'm on assuming the inside. you need just to step front in. Front leg, yes. Front leg, you can either, like you said, like Nick said, step outside. So we could step outside okay. here, or you can also just jab and throw. What's hard, and the complicated part, is avoiding the knee. When I'm kicking inside, Nick can just, uh, or just kind of oh, turn yeah. his, his, his leg down uh, the other way. Oh, yeah. Yes. Boom, and I can crush oh, yeah. my foot on my yeah. knee. Okay. That would hurt. Yeah. I still have a bump from my last fight here because of that. So that's how you would check it, just twist the knee? Yes, or yes. Or just like you said. Exactly. Yeah. So we can either just twist Normal. the knee to check, check okay. with the twist. Okay. Twisting Normal. the knee. Oh, you can, oh. I could feel that already. Like I know if it's hard and I do break this. My foot. Yeah, break my foot. Yeah, it's going to kill. Or he can just pick his leg up, just whoa, and then come in. Oh, even that's good for both sides. So, one, if you know the guy's throwing a calf kick, all you gotta do is lift your leg up like this. Why you can't do that with a thigh kick, with a regular leg kick? Because you're gonna hit the thigh, even if he lifts his leg up, yeah. boom, there he's gotta check. But just lift it this way. Yeah, if he lifts his leg yeah. up, boom. boom, he still gets it on the thigh. This is why the calf kick, if you're expecting it, it can be risky. If you're expecting your calf kick, it so can you be really, you gotta, you gotta set it up properly. Yes. And, and in the street, how would you use it? I would use... I, 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 I guess mean, you know, street yeah, fights, like, I mean, just go very in. rare. Yeah. Rarely you're going to stand yeah, in front yeah, of the guy. Yeah. I, I'm assuming if I go for a clean yeah. strike and then just go yeah. straight for low, yeah. high low. And just... At the end of a combination. In the street, at the end of a combination, if the guy's still standing. Because it's hard in the street to use all yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah, it's hard. Because it's not conventional. You're not in front of the guy. Yeah, wear, like wear and tear. There's no wear and tear. It's yeah. tear right away. That's it. You know? So it's uh, in the street, I, fuck. I mean, maybe if you want to surprise somebody, but even then I suggest to the yeah, chin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right hand to the chin. If you go oh, yeah. if you get it low, that's, yeah. that's it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys want to learn, uh, if you want to see more of Xavier's MMA, go visit his channel, Xavier MMA. I'll put the link in the comment box. If you guys have any, have any future videos, you want to see any MMA self-defense, leave them in the comment box. We'll be making videos regularly with Xavier. I want to thank you for watching, guys. Stay safe.